TV characters who came and ruined great shows. If there's one thing that'll always get people talking, it has to be the worst TV characters. Many casting directors have added new characters to a series to make it better, but there were times when they got things wrong. People agree that these characters ruined otherwise good TV shows. We hope very much that your favorite's not on this list. Three's Company Cindy In the fifth season of Three's Company, we met Cindy Snow in the middle of a very exciting plot. After Suzanne Somers left the show, the producers tried to make up for it by giving Cindy to Jenna Lee Harrison. Fans were most annoyed by the fact that she was portrayed as a blonde who was annoying and stupid. The actress got a better part in Dallas after that. Randy Pearson on That 70s Show People didn't like that this character was added to the eighth season of That 70s Show. Randy Pearson, who was played by Josh Myers, was supposed to take Topher Grace's place in the main cast when he left the show. During the season, the character went out with Donna and worked at the record store with Hyde. People thought he was a mix of Kelso and Eric, who had both left the show. Even though he had to fill big shoes, that didn't make the character more likable. Seven of them are married and have kids. Seven was such an unpopular character that his face was later put on a milk carton to represent a missing person. He was Zemus Wanker and Ida May's seventh child. How fitting that he was in the seventh season of Married with Children. People who watched him thought he was even more annoying than a typical little boy. Fans hated the character so much that the show's creators decided to get rid of him in the middle of the season. After going to the neighbor, he said he didn't want to go back home. The Office – Nellie Bertram Catherine Tate was a guest star in The Office in the seventh season, but we didn't learn much about her until the next season. Her personality was pretty much the main reason why Andy lost his job. She was also not a part of the group, which made her a bad boss. We can't deny that the actress did a great job with the role. In the ninth season, when she and Andy made up, fans started to like her more, but by then it was too little, too late. How I Met Your Mother by Ted Mosby Yes, How I Met Your Mother's main character is Ted Mosby. Josh Radnor brought the character to life, but many people didn't like him. Not only did it take him nine years to tell a single story, but the series also let him get away with way too much. People also thought his character was too sappy and weak. Aiden Mason of TV Over Mind said, He's the kind of guy that both men and women can't stand. TedMosbySucks.com is a website made by people who don't like him. Ouch! Star Trek The Next Generation – Wesley Crusher During the first four seasons of Star Trek The Next Generation, Wesley Crusher was a regular character. But because fans didn't like him, he only showed up here and there in the next three. In a show like this one, the genius kid trope just didn't work. To be fair, it looked like the people who wrote it didn't know how to write for young people. People still thought he was arrogant and rude because the writing was bad and he spoke like a Californian. Nikki and Paolo Lost E Online says that Nikki and Paolo are one of the worst TV couples of all time. Fans didn't like these Lost characters because their stories didn't fit with the rest of the cast. Already, the show's hard to follow, so this just made things worse. The con man and actress were only on the show for a short time before they were paralyzed and buried alive. Oh, we forgot to say that they killed someone before they got to the island. The writers wanted to believe that they could be saved, but this didn't happen. Even the showrunner, Damon Lindelof, said that the pair is not very likable. Priya Kuthrapali, The Big Bang Theory On The Big Bang Theory, Artie Mann plays Raj's younger sister. Many fans think of her as a season four's main bad guy. She was a lawyer for a big company and fans haven't liked her since the first time she showed up in the show. This is partly because of how she cheated on Leonard. In the seventh episode of season five, the breakup took place. She and Penny didn't get along, of course. The Brady Bunch, Cousin Oliver On The Brady Bunch, Robbie Rist played Cousin Oliver. People didn't like the character, though, so much that it became known as Cousin Oliver Syndrome. This is how a young character is described when they're added to an old show that needs to shake things up. Many people think that this typecasting only makes shows worse, which is sad. Oliver was kind of like a human magnet for disaster. He made a lot of problems and made the show feel out of whack. 
Today, everyone agrees that Cousin Oliver ended the show. Oof. All in the Family's Stephanie Mills. Next, we'll talk about another child actor that fans didn't like. All in the Family showed that Stephanie Mills was Archie Bunker's niece. Her alcoholic father gave up on her and left her on the front step. Fans didn't like her more because of her sad past, though. People thought she changed how the family worked. On the other hand, some viewers thought she was a good way to balance out Archie's liberal views. He didn't like the fact that she was Jewish at first. Emily, Friends To be fair, Emily was liked from the start on Friends. Fans thought that she was taking Ross away from Rachel, so this didn't last long. The couple was about to get married, but during the vows he called her Rachel. Fans were glad the couple broke up because she was unreasonable and jealous. She wanted him to not only move to London with her, but also to stop hanging out with the whole gang. We can see why his fans thought he was lucky. Nathan Riggs, Grey's Anatomy Ellen Pompeo has said that a lot of fans don't like this character because it was just a bad idea. For a long time, the character played by Patrick Dempsey was the one she liked. When he left the show, fans thought that Nathan Riggs had shown up way too soon. Martin Henderson played the character, though the timing could have been better. The actress said that ABC had made a mistake by doing this. They let him go in 2017 so he could be with his fiance and start a new life with her. Billy from Charmed People just couldn't get enough of Kaylee Cuoco in The Big Bang Theory. In fact, because of that role, she became one of the best-known TV stars. Let's just say that Penny on Charmed didn't have the same charm as Billy. The actress first showed up in the eighth season's first episode. She could also move things with her mind and see into the future. Fans didn't like her from the start, but when she got back together with her sister and joined the dark side, things got even worse. Regan Lucas on New Girl On New Girl, Megan Fox brought Regan Lucas to life. Fans made it clear that they didn't like the character and blamed her for Nick's gross behavior. The truth is that this isn't true. After her breakup with Nick, Regan stopped appearing on the show. The reason they broke up was because they couldn't show how they felt. She was written in as a cool, confident, and straightforward woman. While Zoe Deschanel was on maternity leave, the actress filled in for her on the show. Dawn Summers in Buffy the Vampire Slayer on Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Dawn Summers was Buffy's sister. She was played by Michelle Trachtenberg, and she could have been a slayer. Fans didn't give them to her, though. They thought that her sudden appearance in the fifth season and her important role in the story changed the way things were. On top of that, they found her annoying because she always had something to say. In retrospect, it's clear that she was trying to get out from under the shadow of her sister. Castiel, Supernatural we're sure that putting him on this list will upset a lot of people, frankly, me included. In the fifth season, Castiel became a regular on the show. Fans didn't like some of the things that the character did. One thing to remember is that he took the souls of the Leviathans and called himself God. The version of Castiel that let Lucifer take over his body was called Cassifer. Fans didn't like the fact that he agreed to do something so bad. He was hit or miss when it came to being funny. Game of Thrones, Ramsay Bolton. The Atlantic said that this person was the worst character on TV. A quick poll also showed this to be true. Not only in the fantasy series, but also in real life. People thought his crimes were awful. Let's not forget that he tortured Theon Greyjoy so much that the poor guy lost half his weight and got white hair, making him look like an old man. Unfortunately, it seemed like people who didn't like the character also didn't like the actor who played the character. Ewan Rian told me this was true. 30 Rock, Criss Cross. Criss Cross's first appearance on the show was in an episode called Idiots Are People Too. People thought that Liz Lemon, who was played by James Martin, could do better. They weren't wrong about that, though. The character was a person who sold hot dogs and went to school to study ethnomusicology. There was a lot of anger on Twitter when he joined the cast. On the other hand, fans thought it would be a good idea for her to be with someone who didn't do too much. Parks and Recreation star Mark Brandanowitz. It's no secret that many Parks and Recreation fans love Leslie Nope. Mark Brandanowitz was a regular in the first two seasons, so this is probably why they didn't like him. Paul Schneider gave life to the town planner. Even though Leslie really liked him, he just ignored her and started dating her best friend. 
When the character left the show after the second season, a lot of people were glad. The actor said that he left because he had different ideas about how his character should be written. It was probably for the best since Leslie and Ben get along so well. Scooby-Doo, Scrappy-Doo. In the 1970s and 1980s, Scooby-Doo's ratings were going down. So Hanna-Barbera added Scrappy-Doo to the cast. He was the nephew of our favorite Great Dane. And in the beginning, he helped bring in more viewers. But over time, people stopped liking this animated dog. People didn't like him, found him annoying, and thought he was rude. When Scooby-Doo was made into a live-action movie, they made him the main bad guy. The director, James Gunn, seems to have asked for this to happen. Cole Aronson Scrubs It seemed like Scrubs Cole Aronson was made for fans to hate him. Dave Franco played him as a rude intern who only got the job because of his parents' connections. They did build the hospital, after all. On top of that, he was always hitting on Denise and said he could do this because of how his parents treated him. Even though he had his own funny lines, he was mostly there to make the other people laugh. Fans didn't like him, but he did make them laugh a lot. 